Mwaka wanaito Rodgers na leo tutakona tutorial nyingine ambao tutajifunza ni jinsi gani ya ku apply mockups kwenye logo kwenye logo okay let's say umeshatengeneza logo yako kupitia Adobe Illustrator anyway umetumia Adobe Photoshop anyway umetumia Adobe Illustrator whatever the case kwa mfano ukicheka kama hii logo tume design for using Adobe Illustrator na hizi effects zote tunazoziona hapa ni drag and drop na tume place one by one so niki nikisema kwa mfano ni ni, ni, ni ungroup hii niki ungroup hii hii hi, hi, nani tunaona ndio tukatenganisha kila kitu kikakaa kivyake umeona umeona kwamba kwamba kila kitu kiko kivyake umeona so hii ndio hivi ndio hii logo tulivyotengeneza umeona kila kitu kiko kivyake so baadaye tunakuja kuvia sembo na kupata logo ambayo tunataka so de, nani application au software ambayo inaweza kufanya hivi fresh zaidi tunatumia Adobe Illustrator kama unaweza kucheck so baada ya ku make sure that hii logo yako imeka poa ndio next step inayofuatia hapo ni kufanyaje ni kuja kuijoin kui then tuna group baadaye tuna export inakuwa kama Adobe Photoshop file kwa sababu kwenye Adobe Photoshop file ndio tunatumia ku make some mockups okay ndio tunatumia ku apply mockups kwenye logo zet so una make sure that you download mockups nitakuonyesha free site ambayo unaweza download mockups kwa ajili ya logo yako then baada ya hapo unai apply na logo yako inaonekana amazing 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 so nadhani hiyo logo tutakuja kuiwekea mockup then tutaona at the end of the results itaonekana vipi guys okay so that we assemble it so nitaiassemble nitaiassemble irudi kama ilivyokuwa mwanzo so this is how it was okay so after having this tutaingia same ya save utaingia file hapa na shumo umesha design logo yako right then ukija hapa same ya servers unakuja kwenye export unaweza kuklik export au savers una make sure una save hii kama photoshop file okay so kwa mfano hapa nakuja hapa amna so tutakuja hapa same ya export as okay unakuja kwenye file unakuja same ya export then tuna click export as tuna make sure that tuna, tuna chagua hapa export as photoshop psd umeona export as photoshop psd so nikisha export hii iko hivi hapa ni kwa share export i want to show you my folder so this is my folder umeona hii new wings ndo nimesha export hii hapa so nikisha export ina maana ni file ya adobe illustrator lakini nime export kwa ajili ya kuwa edited kwenye 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 adobe photoshop so what i'm going to do right now ni kufungua adobe photoshop then tuje tu check logo yetu inaonekana vipi after being extracted from adobe illustrator so uzuri wa adobe 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 products zinakuwa zinafanya kazi kwa collaboration so in case ukitaka kuifanyia animation unakuja una una export kama adobe after effect unaweza kucheck hapa na adobe after effect lakini pia kuna Oh, kwa hiyo nikitaka let's say kuifanyia animations au nataka ni nitumie kwenye kuedit video ta export as adobe premier pro file okay so unakuwa na export file kulingana na utaenda kuitumia hapi achana na ile ya ku ya ku export kama png au gpe then unakuja kuitumia kama hivyo no unaweza uka, uka export ikiwa the same file na the same standard then baadaye ukaja kuitumia ikiwa the, in, na, na the same features okay So tukifungua Adobe Photoshop hii ndo interface Adobe Photoshop inavyoonekana. So ukifungua basically kwa kuchagua ile file ambayo utaitumia kama hii Adobe uh, hii new wings. So it means nitafungua na hii Photoshop itafungukia hapo hapo kwenye kwenye hiyo new wings okay. So then after tutakuja kufanyaje tutakuja ku, ku, kuanza ku, 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 kuifanyia linking okay. Tukifanyia linking tutaanza ku make sure that uh, tuna, tuna make sure that nani tunatafuta tunatafuta um, tunatafuta mockup ambayo tumesha download then tunazope tunazope ni kama psd file ama au photoshop document ndio photoshop document ndio clef then baadaye tunakuja kutumia so this is my adobe photoshop mona aipishani sana na adobe illustrator so unaweza kucheck some changes tu kidogo hii ni adobe illustrator lakini pia hii ni adobe photoshop in case unataka kujifunza graphics designing ukijua adobe photoshop features tofauti ambazo zinatofautiana na Adobe Illustrator okay at the same time ni features kidogo zinatofautiana na Adobe After Effect na Adobe Premiere Pro so unaweza kujifunza uka ukaelewa nafanyaje so hii file tume extract kutoka Adobe Illustrator nadhani umeweza kuona the original file from Illustrator ni hii hapa lakini extracted file extracted file ambayo imeingia kwenye Photoshop ni hii hapa unaweza kuona vbox kwa nyuma hivi kama vbox vya draft hivi vinatuonyesha kwamba hii hii hi logo haina background so haina background so in case tuna plug kwenye background yote ita take the background which is available okay so for for for, for here hapo unaweza kuona background in white lakini exporting nimesetu kwamba export ni export without background kwa ajili ya kuedit in future. 
So baada ya hapo nikiset hapa nitakuja kwenye files ambazo ambapo niwe download uh, mockups zangu then nitaanza kuchagua which mockup will be best for this logo then tunaanza kuapply. So kwa mfano my my, my, my mockups are somewhere here. Okay, my computer where where here mockups. So I wanna choose do you see all of these are mockups kwa hiyo nachagua ni ipi. Let's say kwa mfano niki try hii hapa nitafungua hii hapa naweza nika, nika view kama sorry these guys want subscription but no problem. So kwa mfano nikifungua hii GPG file naweza nika check layout ya mockup yangu inaonekana vipi. Then baada hapo nikiona inaweza kaendana na logo yangu fine naweza nika apply. Mind you sio kwamba kila logo inaendana na mockup yoyote no kwa hiyo unachagua moka ambao inaendana na logo yako au moka ambao inaendana na kitu ambacho unataka upate in future. So do you see this? This is amazing. This is cool. Unaweza kacheki hii ni moka. So I think let's let we use this, okay? Tunaenda kutumia hii hapa. So ukishafungua hivi, na maana ukidownload file la moka, umeona linakuwa ni linakuwa ni zipped file ambayo linakuwa lina na, na, na some demo images ambazo zinakuonyesha kwamba at the end logo yako itaonekana vipi as you see like here. Then baadaye hapo kuna kuwa na PSD 3D logo moka. Umeona? I Photoshop. So na kliki hapa nikifungua hii itakuwa opened as new tab kwenye 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 nani yetu software yetu ya Adobe Photoshop. So do you see, do you see this? So hapa nakuonyesha sasa ni jinsi gani ya ku apply mockup, okay? We have logo. This is the logo without a mockup. So what I'm going to do now to apply a, a mockup here. This is what you are going to do. So look here. Kwa hiyo nikiklik hapa sehemu ya mockup ukija huku mkono wako wa kushoto huku wa kulia. Sorry, hapa pimeandikwa your logo here. Una, una double click hapa ndio unafungua unaona hii. Umeona hii content hii hapa? Hii content iliyoko hapa ndio ndio ndo original content lakini hapa ndio imeshawekwa mockup inaonekana vipi? Inaonekana hivi. So what to do? Unaweza kuzidelete au ukaklik hii button ya ku hide. Ukisha hide utakuwa na blank file kama hii hapa. Then utakuja ucheke logo yako hii, utai drag. So uki drag bila ku select utachukua kitu kimoja as you see right now. So what what I should do right now is uh, inabidi unatoka click control Z ku reset then una select all 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 do you see nime select zote so niki 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 drag na drag zote so that drag utaweka sehemu ya ile empty space ambayo tukatusha generate kwa ajili ya ya kuwekea hii logo do you see then ukishakisha imekaa po umeweka kila kitu fresh una click save unataka click kwenye kwenye nani kwenye 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 keyboard yako control S au unaweza kaja hapa hapa hivi ambayo inaweza sana control s kwa hiyo unaweza hapa hivi control hii hapa control s ambayo ni control save au nikaklik kwenye keyboard control s so niki save utaona ina ina road hapa 99% okay imemaliza so nikimaliza nikirudi kwenye ile previous file tutakuta lo, uh, uh, logo yetu ishakuwa ishakuwa nani do you see logo tayari imeshakuwa imeshakuwa na mockup so tutafanya selection ya yote tu expand kidogo unaweza kama unaona kama ni ndogo so unaweza kufanyia extension kidogo hivi do you see let me make some extension do you see hapa hivi so hivi okay okay yeah imekaa poa hapa lakini mtu anaweza kusema mbona kama haionekani poa ni kwa sababu ya, ya kivuri do you see hapa inaonekana fresh okay So unaweza kupitia some basic settings hapa ili ku, ku, ku reset mpaka kufikia uwe kitu ambacho unakitaka. Lakini hapa imeshakuwa na mockup ni tofauti na hii original one ambayo inaonekana hivi. Do you see? So this is how easy way to to to, to, to use mockups ndio njia rahisi ya, kutu, ya kutumia mockup baada ya kudesign logo yako kupitia Adobe Illustrator. Mind you sio mpaka logo, logo kama hizi unaweza kama design chochote kupitia kwenye Illustrator na unataka ukeke mockup. So this is the simplest way on how to do it, okay? So So I'd like to thank to say thank you very much for for, for watching this video na kama utahitaji kama una logo zako unataka kuziapplyia mockup this is a simple way to upload to to use mockups na kuwekea kwenye description website ambayo utatumia ku download mockups kama hizi ambazo unatumia then it will be very easier for you to 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 apply your mockups na ku make logo yako ionekane amazing so nimekuwa nikidesign a lot of logos for my clients so they are very satisfied wako poa na wanakubali kabisa mcheki hiyo kwa mfano tukisema tusema kwa mfano tutafute mockup nyingine chap chap hapa uje kuona kwamba what is going on let's say goja tuone hii goja tuone hii let me see this okay let me see this how, we, how it is this interface let me see this so unaweza ka click image kucheck kwamba demo image itakuwa vipi do you see this i don't think this is going to be good let me find another one okay let me find another let's say logo mockup with with the phonics Let me see how with this. Okay? Logo, logo mock up with Phonex. I don't know how it is. Maybe go to if I'm going to check it. Then yeah, should I have image here? 
Wow, so do we use this, okay? Yeah, he commanded kwa poa ngoja ngoja tuitumie hii sasa sasa hivi. Tutatumia hii tutaweka tuta, tuta, tuta nani logo yetu then tutaona hii itakaa vipi. Sometimes unaona hizo za za creative clouds kwamba kuna some ya fonts labda zinakuwa zipo kama hii font that's why inadai. So unakuja huku una click ya maneno yanatoka. Unaona kwenye title ni click yanatoka. So kama kawaida the same procedure tulitumia pale inakuwa apply applicable kwa logo zote. So utakuja utakuja hapo pale kwenye nani logos uta, uta double click then utakuja utaona hii icon then utaitoa then at the end of the day uta, utachukua hii new wings then utakuja hapa uta drag tena hapa uta hii maximize kidogo ili baadaye ije ijionekane kiwa kubwa then unaweza ka drag kidogo ku maximize kwa sababu hii ni file ambayo imetoka originally from Adobe Illustrator so inakuwa ina mambo mengi ina customization nyingi so baada ya hapo nikiclick tick itaonekana poa then baada ya hapo tuta click control save kwenye 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 deck kwenye keyboard au unakuja kwenye file unabonyeza save ukiclick okay, kwenye save hapo ukiona inasoma hadi 99 ishamaliza na maana logo yetu inakuwa inshakuwa applied so when you come back here you see now our logo is good so leza kuona kama kama imezidi eh imezidi kwenye hiki box we need it to, to be filled there so nitakuja ni nita decrease tu kidogo amount okay so then niki save if if no 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 really sorry i didn't save okay so we should make you should save this okay niki save we Make sure that una select zote ile usiache content yote. Then ni save hii, tukisha save hii, control save, control S kwenye keyboard, then tukirudi kucheck. Ah, ah, do you see sasa hapa imekaa poa sasa? Imekaa poa. So haya maneno nimesema tuna click hapa kuyatoa, then kama utahitaji wow, iko 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 poa. Okay. So sometimes unaweza kuona kama labda mwanga umekuwa mbaya huo. Sasa hapa unaweza kuja ukaselect uka, uka features ukaona unabadilisha mwanga umeona kuna mwanga rangi effects oh hapo ni hapo background nikitoa do you see how it, it is now do you see wow amazing huh? so here we see so tunaweza tukafanya like uh, tubonyeza hapa then tuje same kwa fana EV umeona kwa unaweza uka unakuja huku na una test one by one ndio ona iko vipi unless upate logo ambayo unaitaka wewe do you see do you see do you see so hii hapa naona iko iko minded kwa sababu inaonekana kama imekuwa imechimbwa kwenye ukuta okay so nadhani iko poa okay so baada ya hapo una click save export na yenyewe unaweza kuclick export as quick as png na kwa image file Okay so ukiexport okay, as png hapa unakuja una select folder ambapo unataka iende for example mine is desktop then tutaweka kwenye new wings hapa then ta save we file okay nik save we file at the end of the day tutakuja kucheki itakuwa imeshakuwa ready so this is how to do it this is how to use mockup si kwenye 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 website yako na ndio njia ya rahisi kwa kama unahitaji website au logo amazing one ambayo ina iko poa unaweza kai print pia kwa ajili ya business yako ni rahisi tunaweza tukakuonyesha jinsi ya kufanya thank you very much guys see you in the next tutorial my name is rogers yeah they will end up here